Hello, this video will cover how to access the three options for reading or reviewing the material to prepare for each chapter. First thing you want to do is click on your course. Um, next thing you will do, you will be taken to the home page where you'll see the start here module and the day one orientation. You should have already completed all of those tasks. And then you will see that on chapter one module, the preparing yourself for chapter one should be available to you after you've completed the previous items in the first two modules. So you'll notice first it says chapter learning objectives and you move down to reading options. You have three options. I do not recommend you do all three of these options. You need to choose which method works best for you. Everyone learns differently. And so you need to figure out which method will be your best so that best method for you so that you can utilize that 16 hours to 23 hours um, if you're taking a 10 week course or whatever the maximum is for the week. If it was a normal 17 week, it would be nine to 13 hours. So anyway, choose a method. You can either read the chapter. Now, most of you probably do not have your textbook. Keep in mind that the textbook is available in e-version or smart book version at the McGraw Hill Connect site. And um, you can also access the second option, which is the chapters interactive presentation assignment um, in the, on the McGraw Hill Connect site. And then the last option, you can review chapter PowerPoint slides and basically go through the slideshow and it's a picture um, summarized more like outline fashion of the chapter material. So those are your three options. Now for the first two options, what you'll need to do is there is a McGraw-Hill Connect link on the table. You need to click on that. And if you want to access the ebook, what you can do is there's a smart book here, um, um, first option, or you can go to the Connect Library. I'm gonna click on the Connect Library. And it's loading. The Connect Library will take me into the ebook area. Now, again, um, most of you are probably on courtesy, so my courtesy code is going to expire 7, June 7. Uh, make sure you um, get your textbook before that expiration. Uh, I'm not going to purchase, so I'm going to say no. And you'll notice on the far left hand side, it says Loose Lease Option. When you purchase the te custom text, that is what's going to be coming from the Fresno City bookstore. The second option says the SBLS. This is your smart book option. And if you go down a little bit further, here's your ebook. So ebook and smart book are two separate items. You can use either one. I normally use the ebook. If you click on the upper hand, you go to the table of contents. It's kind of organized just like a paper copy of the textbook. So chapter one, and you can begin the very beginning and you can read it as if you were reading a normal book and scroll through. However, in this option, one thing I would like to point out is that there are videos embedded into an assignment. So let's just go to transaction analysis problem. You see, this is actually on the textbook. If you scroll down, there are some options. They're all static, meaning they do not change. And if you keep going, keep going, keep going, you will see. So you'll look for the need to know exercises within the ebook. And you'll notice that there is a um, play triangle. You see that this play triangle, if you click on that, it'll actually play step by step of how to complete it in a dynamic format. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause. Pause. And then you'll notice up here on the upper right hand corner, you'll see a speaker. So what you can do if you get tired of reading it for yourself, you can click somewhere and you can actually click on the speaker. And it will read the textbook to you. And then you can do split slider. You can uh, modify it so you can use these resources to read the material. Pause. 
Now, if you'd like to skip around, again, you can use your items and so forth to figure out what you're going to cover in the material. And that's pretty much it for the ebook. But now, if you prefer to use a smart book where it links it with your Learn Smart, that is um, an option too. Depends on just your personal preference of how you want to read the material. Now, for those of you that choose an option that allows you to look at interactive presentations, which is an assignment that's set up to cover, let's see, I'm learning how to use a MacBook. I'm a PC, so I miss my touch screen. So if you scroll down on your assignments for the semester, you will find a folder that is labeled interactive presentations. You will see here it's not graded. This is not counted towards your grade. This is just an alternative to reading the ebook or smart book. So you're going to click on that folder and you'll see that it has 13 items in it. And the first item, chapter one, interactive presentation, you can select to complete this assignment and you will see that it's actually available to the last day of the course. There's unlimited attempts. And basically what this is, is an interactive video with problems and answers as you're going through the material. So you just click on begin and that could be your option for um, re reviewing the material. Yeah, I'm going to go back to my canvas and preparing yourself. The last option would be to use a PowerPoint. So you're just going to click on that file and I recommend you download it to your system and then you just view the PowerPoint slide by pressing, I think F5 or um, begin presentation. You can view it and then use your notes down here to document um, the items and the terms and so forth on each of your note sheets. I do recommend printing out your other handouts as well. And all three of these, whether you select option one, two, or three, you should be able to utilize those notes so that you can prepare for the test. So that concludes this video. And remember, today is a great day to learn accounting.